Welcome everyone. Today's session is going to focus on the sales and distribution module of SAP. I'm going to show you how Inaware's Process Runner Excel add-in can greatly simplify the upload and download of data to and from SAP as Excel becomes your interface to SAP. Here in the first tab of this Excel workbook, I have a form template layout for the transaction code VA01. You can see here, I can put my header data here. Then I have a spot for long text. And down below here, I can put my line item data. Now to run this transaction in SAP, all I have to do is click on the Process Runner Excel Add-in tab at the top here, press the Run button, and now I just log into an SAP system from my SAP landscape. Process Runner and Process Runner Excel add-in support single sign-on, HTTPS, HTTP authentication, as well as SS01 and SS02. Now, Inaware Technology is taking over and it's executing a VA01 transaction automation script. Now, this script was created with Process Runner, and then I'm able to embed the script into the Excel spreadsheet, and then with the run-only license or designer license, I can now execute the SAP transaction from Excel. Excel becomes my interface to SAP. Now, if I scroll down here, I've got my SAP messaging. I can see that my order has been saved. If I scroll over, this is my full SAP messaging. And then I can go right into SAP here and just verify that the sales order has been properly created. And there I've got my line items. Let's also take a look at that long text. I'm just going to maximize this here. And we'll take a look now, the text tab. And there you can see I was able to upload the long text as well. With Process Runner technology, it will actually split and append long text. What I'm going to do now is exit out of this example here. And let's take a look at a mass create. What if I want to create several documents in SAP, several sales orders? Here I've got three. And you notice I've got a lot of line items here. So again, right from the Process Runner Excel add-in tab, the drop-down here shows me that I've got an additional script embedded in the workbook, and this is for creating a sales order with header as well as item long text. So not only will I have my header long text, but I'll also be able to upload the line item text as well for these different line items. So now again, I just simply press the Run button here, log into SAP, and then a second VA01 transaction automation script is going to execute, allow me to create these sales documents in a mass capacity. Now, as this uh, progresses here, I'm going to show you some additional functionality that we've built into this workbook. I've got some additional scripts in this workbook. With Process Runner Excel add-in, you can embed as many scripts as you would like into an Excel workbook. You can lock them to specific templates, specific tabs of your Excel workbook. So perhaps you have a certain data layout for one tab and a different data layout for another tab. You can just choose which script to lock to which Excel spreadsheet. You can also lock multiple scripts to one Excel spreadsheet if you have various scripts that will work with the same data layout. Now I'll just scroll over here and there you can see the additional sales orders that I've been able to create. Again, very simple for me to go into SAP with this handy link here. I can just verify these additional sales orders that I've created. Now, what if you want to download data from SAP? You can do that with Process Runner Excel add-in as well. And then I have this demonstration here from the VBAC and VBAP tab here. Now, what I've done is I've built a data filter. This is going to filter off a customer number as well as a sales document number. And I can just hit the Run button here. And the first thing that will execute, it will be a VBAC data extraction script. So first we'll see the run status for the VBAC script. This is doing the, again, the filtering based on this value in A2 and, and cell B2. And so once the data downloads from the VBAC table, it's going to write the sales document number to column A. And then the VBAP data extraction file next executes. And so this is reading off of the sales document number in column A. That's the filter. And then it's writing the line item data right from the VBAP table to the Excel spreadsheet. So what I've created is a table join that links the VBAC and VBAP tables. Two data extraction files linked by the sales document number coming from column A. Now let's say that I want to utilize BAPI technology for my data extraction. I've got a sample of that here as well too. 
And so here I've given a customer number and a sales organization number. So I'm just going to click on the run button here. And this is going to execute a BAPI, which will then pull this data from SAP and write it to the Excel spreadsheet. And so once the run status log pops up here, there you can see it's the BAPI sales order get list showing my SAP time as well as my Excel time, time to write the data to the Excel spreadsheet. BAPI technology is extremely quick, extremely efficient. Did all this data download in, in as little as one second of SAP time. And then finally, I've got another process file embedded in this Excel workbook here. So if I go to this VD02 tab, this is going to allow me to add ship to partners for each of these customer numbers. So let me pull this up in SAP. We'll take a look at this customer account number and its current ship to partners. So there we can see that there is currently one ship to partner with the number 2200. So now I'm going to again execute a script. And so this will be a VD02 transaction automation script. It's going to allow me to add the ship to parties to these customer numbers without overriding the original ship to parties. So again, we're going to see the SAP messaging writing directly to the Excel spreadsheet as the script executes. There you can see the changes have been made. So once this completely finishes out, let's just take a quick look in SAP at this particular customer. So I'm going to refresh the data here. There we can see our new ship to parties. So this has just been a small sample of some transactions that you can run from the SD module of SAP utilizing Process Runner and Process Runner Excel add-in. Now that we're coming up on the end of the session, I'd just like to point out a few things. If you do have to deal with enjoy transactions, vertical scroll bars, ALV grids, you'll be able to handle this with our GUI scripting technology. It's an additional capability that Process Runner has. I just didn't have enough time to show you that in this session. But those scripts can be embedded as well in the Excel spreadsheets. Also, if you're thinking to yourself, what about FICO, MM, PM? What about the other modules of SAP? Process Runner does work across all the modules of SAP. So any transaction that you need to automate, you can do it with Process Runner. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about how to simplify SAP data management, contact us through inaware.com.